Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another video here for you today. This will be the final two games I played in the DHG Free For All tournament. A few weeks ago I said I would be live streaming this and at the time I thought the tournament would occur, I actually sat in a lobby for two and a half hours while nothing happened. Um, later the tournament did occur and the prize pool was increased so that first place would receive $75 second place would receive $50, and third place would receive $25. Now, uh, these are the final two games I did play in this tournament, and um, the first game was on the map you're seeing on your screen right now. Um, MLG Amplified version 1.1, we played on old Halo 4 settings, 5-shot BR and all that. It really was um, not good, um, but I did end up making first in that match. And in this free-for-all tournament, the top three advance. So if you are in the top three players when your match ends, then you advance. Um, the next game that you're going to be seeing, the game you're going to be seeing right now actually on Abandon is going to be 250 kills and um, top three advance as well. So I'm just going to be showing you it live as it happened with my live reaction. Um, I would like to point out that um, Abandon Free For All is not necessarily the most fair game type as you will see obviously happen in the film where I kill players sp literally spawning in front of me. Um, never in a competitive free-for-all should the map be put in but that was beyond my control and I had you know I, I, I put my two cents out there for the players leading the tournament obviously but it didn't really go through. So um, the second thing I wanted to mention is that my loadouts unfortunately reset um, in the middle or at the beginning of this game. Um, this has never happened to me um, in the middle of a day of playing Halo. It's always happened at the very beginning when I log onto my Xbox. Um, I go onto Halo 4 and all my loadouts are reset. I have to buy everything again. It's a pain in the rear and a hassle. Um, this happened to me in the middle of the day after I had played a few games already. Uh, never had that happen before. So while that was a frustration, I'm just presenting this gameplay to you as it occurred. So hope you guys all enjoy. Yeah, it's fun to get around all of, all the time. Yeah. Slayer. My loadouts are reset. Get raped. Okay, wow. Guys, I'm... This is aggravating. My loadouts are reset. There's no time to change. Okay. My freaking goodness! I hate this game! Why does it reset my loadouts? In the middle of a game! Oh my god. No way. There's no way that just happened.
I cannot, honestly, I cannot believe that I am sincerely having to do this. Like, this is completely and totally unfair. But I had to reset my loadouts in the middle of the tracking game. Maybe get this kill. Darn it! Oh, gosh. Okay, calm down. It's not having my loadouts. It's flustering me. But okay. How the game goes. Nothing you can do about it. So as you've probably been able to tell up to this point in the video, I'm pretty frustrated that my loadouts have reset, but notice what I just tried to say to myself in the live commentary. Calm down, I need to calm down. There's nothing you can do. And it's exactly true. Things like this will occur to you. The stupidest, worst things will happen. And when they do, you can't let it mentally stop you from playing well. There's something about being in the zone, so to speak. You're playing well, your shots are on, you're focused, in other words. And uh, things like this can knock you out of your zone. And it's quite easily for uh, new players. It can really screw them up. And um, they lose their focus. And, um, you know, three-fourths of the way through the game, they start going, oh, well, I'm not going to make it into the top three because, because of this. Don't 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 start rationalizing with yourself at all. Block it out of your mind. And that's what I try to attempt to do here in this game. And another thing that you can do is to pull that anger or frustration and fuel it into really, really trying to do well in the game. Possibly, um, while I don't recommend this, it's better than being angry at yourself. You can be super aggressive in the game towards um, other players. And even though I've muted everyone else in the game and they can't hear me, hopefully that explains some of my reactions um, in this gameplay. That wow, I needed to get that kill. Not good. This is really just not good. Okay, I need to stop, yeah, I need to stop wasting my time like that. I really cannot afford to be wasting my time like that. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Are you serious? You have an overshield. Like, what in the world? Rape kid. Wow, okay, what in the world? Destroyed, kid. Get destroyed. Hold on, this guy's gonna definitely come after me. He's get that kill right there.
Try to get to the center of the map here. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run. Gosh, I'm gonna get out of here somehow. Of course he stuck me. Of course you noob. You s oh wow, okay. Sorry guys, that was just unfortunate. That was completely unfortunate as well. Need to get out of here and not give this guy the kill. That was a really nice pickup, actually. Oh, okay. I missed the bolt shot completely. I got one kill. Get raped! Wow, <laughs> rail gun. Rape kid. Okay, flag, holy crud. Even your speed boost. Not surprised, the Genesis Rider. I'm gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> guy is chasing me, I will never know. Come on, get over here. Oh, you gave me a saw, thank you. You're very kind. This is what I'm talking about, spawn camping. Like, that's what I'm talking about. If they would just listen to me and not play on maps where you can spawn camp, this wouldn't happen. I'm not gonna be able to outdo that my salt, dude. My salt is br brutal. Okay. Yeah, I just got assassinated. Oh well. Oh man, I thought I had that dude. Alright, so a pretty intense game overall.
just a word to the wise for some of you out there. Saying anything after a game that could be even remotely viewed as an excuse for doing a little bit more poorly than you wanted to or something of that nature is pitiful and you're not going to be looked up to highly at all afterwards by doing it. Now I understand that some things in the game you feel like you really need to comment on because they, you know you lag so much in the game that you couldn't do well. Well that happens to everyone so saying it is not going to make your unique situation any more plausible or understandable to anyone else. The bottom line is we don't care and it may seem very harsh and uh, brutally realistic for some of you out there but we don't care if you had your brother stepping all over your cords. We don't care if everyone else was laughing in the game and you forgot to mute them. It, we just don't care. So you need to f remember that it, when you're playing games after a tough game. Just say good game and move on. It, it, there really isn't a whole lot else to do. And I hope that the examples that I include in this video right here are ex good examples of what not to do after a game. I was laughing the whole game, dude. Everybody was... <laughs> dude, I was laughing so hard, dude. I was getting the D by this guy, the genius. Oh my god. Genesis. <sighs> For the love of all that is good and holy in this universe, learn to read, people. My name is Genesis Writer. I don't know how many people I'm going to run into online who pronounce it as Genius Writer. You can call me a genius if you want to, but that's not how it's spelled. Get it right. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't play, man. Uh. My little brother, like, right at the end, was, like, stepping on my wires, like, shit, no! <laughs> in, in the beginning, I was lagging so much that I couldn't kill anybody. Too fucking small. You know, one thing that really sucks about having green armor is to get like a sore thumb on every map. <laughs> I was doing fine in the beginning, yeah, and I heard people like raging, and I was just oh, yeah. laughing so hard, dude. Like, <laughs> I muted everybody. I, I muted everybody. I wish I did that, man. I was just laughing down the line. I'm, I'm serious, though. I couldn't play, man. Like, I, I was doing fine, like three quarters of the game, and then at the end, I, I just lose it, dude. Like right at the end, like last oh, you about, made, you 30, made the about 35. So. I was on 35, dude, and I just lost it. Like, well, you made top 3, so you're in, man. That's <laughs> right, dude. Like, kid them all. I just lost it, dude. Like, I got fucking overkill, man. I got an overkill, right. two trips. Going so on hand, dude. And I, I don't know what happened. Like, er so many people were running, dude. Like, towards yeah. the middle, so many people just ran away. Everybody yeah. went from, like, challenging to running. I was like, damn, dude. I couldn't get anybody. I wish I muted everybody. <laughs> I wish I didn't have my little brothers in the background. <laughs> so we're about to head into the third and final match of the DHG Free For All Tournament. This final match will determine who gets money for second and third place. Now I would like to mention that up until this point, the top three players have advanced in each Free For All match. What this means is that the final match that we're about, about to see will be comprised of groups of three players. So either three players, six players, or adding on another three, nine players. So we went with six players. There were only six players in the final map. Um, this map was Pitfall that we played on, and it probably should have been played with eight people. Um, regardless, on top of that, because of the reduced number of players, they decided to reduce the score from 50 kills to 40 kills, making the game end prematurely. I was aware of this, but I feel like I might have been able to do better if I was given that 10 more kills to improve. Another thing to notice here is that I've never played free-for-all on Pitfall and Halo 4 at all. Played some doubles games, played quite a few Ricochet, Slayer, Flag games, things of that nature, never free-for-all. So going into this game, I was just trying to do my best, and I think I did pretty good regardless. It was a good experience, but I'll catch you after the game is completed. Thank you for everyone being along for the ride. It's been a long night. I will do my best.
Oh my You weren't able to get off a rocket, were you? Oh darn it, I got two kills, so well. Oh dear. Just gonna stay here, just gonna stay here. Oh man, wow. This is not good. This guy has overfield. I'm just going to let him kill me, because there's nothing I can do. I need to stop wasting my time on this guy and move on. There's nothing I can do. Oh dear. Same dude. That was a bad decision. Should have pulled my BR there. Gonna move out of here. Need to get out of here right now. Yeah, go on. Here he goes.
need to get out of here. If not, this would be ample. Now I really wanted to pause the film here and draw special attention to the grenade indicator currently on my screen. This is a very sudden nade and I very suddenly explode and die. I do end up getting the kill on the guy I'm shooting at with the saw and that guy is not the person who threw the nade. It's the guy behind me as you can see in my radar who has just spawned in sword base. Right here what I should have done is moved a little bit to the left to avoid death damage from the nade and obviously to stay behind the barrier that was directly behind me so that the guy behind me didn't nade me or um, maybe even didn't even throw the nade in the first place. Unfortunately dropping the saw like this only getting one kill is really bad because you really do want to be getting kills with those power weapons because m weapons on the map spawn and everyone can see them they're contested very quickly and you oftentimes in a free-for-all can't pick them up so doing well with the power weapons in your ordinance is very crucial okay got one kill So right here you can see that someone has called down a railgun right below Snipe Tower. And the way I played this was very unfortunate. I'm guessing how it went in my mind was, oh my gosh, look, there's a railgun. If I can just kill this player, I can get that railgun. Okay? And this is really bad because what I do is I end up jumping right here. And the player I'm facing, and remember his name, Yolosaurus Rex, okay? Remember him because you'll see him in the end game stats screen because he actually placed higher than I did. He immediately takes advantage of that. He's hiding behind a little barrier there, and he, he easily outshoots me. And I should have seen that coming up from a mile away. When you jump in the air, you're in a stationary, while moving, you are in a sort semi-stationary position. Jumping is mainly useful when you're about to get one shot, therefore making the headshot harder to get temporarily by moving in a third dimension. I don't do that. I jump at the beginning of my shots off at the railgun as if I'm going to get it or something. This is completely wrong. What I need to do is on the ramp and behind the barrier I'm staying right now, the little corner, I needed to have a back down on that ramp and use that ramp to shoot off at him while hiding behind that. And then eventually pick him off and eventually get the railgun. I was rushing way too much through that. And the next respawn I get, just for the record, is 100% bullcrap. But I should not have tried to again kill Yellowsaurus Rex. I should have run in the opposite direction. I don't know why I was trying to attack a guy who had a rail, who I knew had a railgun. I don't know why I did that. Oh man. There is no way that just happened. Just okay. That is so retarded. Come back, Bill. I'm gonna worry about you, dude. Oh my gosh. Darn it, dude. Now right here again I make a very minor but very crucial mistake. 
right here, what I do is I thruster pack forward, and instead of staying behind cover for a little bit in, inside this little tunnel, waiting for my shields to regenerate a little bit, or waiting for them to engage each other and then popping out and attacking, I choose to jump out and try to pick up a kill. And this is really not what I needed to have done here. Um, the two players on my radar are actually currently fighting each other. Um, one of them was focused on shooting me in the back, but now they're focused on fighting each other. I should have stayed right where I am right now on your screen. After coming out of the thruster pack, I should have stayed right here, let my shield regenerate a bit, back up towards the screen, and then po look to my left and tried to kill one of them. Instead, I end up charging forward, which is really just a bad idea. Dude, okay. Yeah, I need to get towards to the battle, man. I have no ammo. Yeah, I have no ammo whatsoever. I need to get out of here, because this is not going to be... Okay, he's going to kill me. Okay. 
How does his damage boost last that long? Come on. There's no okay. I'm guys, I'm trying to get a way to get this binary, but it's not it's not working. Well this is just another circumstantial mistake I made. Once again, the game did end ten kills earlier than I was used to in the previous matches. And while I do realize that, and that's why I'm so oh my gosh right now. My thought process is wrong at this moment in time. You heard me say I'm trying to get away to get the binary. That's the last thing I need to be doing in this situation. As you can see, I mean, the score right now is three kills away from this guy winning the game. Okay? There's no need for me to be trying to call down a binary rifle and trying to, you know, get four or five, six kills in a row so I might win the game. It's kind of obvious that I'm probably not going to win the game. And it, so I don't even know my place at this point because I haven't been checking the scoreboard. If I had been checking the scoreboard, I would have known, hey, call down the overshield, stay alive. And if I had called down the overshield, I probably would have gotten one or two points here. It was really dumb of me to try to call down the binary rifle. I don't know why I did that. And um, you just need to accept where you are on the scoreboard and just go with that because it really does alter the way you play and especially which ordinance you need to decide to call down. I'm wasting far too much time trying to get it. I'm sorry guys, I've really really tried. Yeah. I tried. At least I got some money. Good experience overall. So overall the tournament did go pretty well. I felt like my shot was on. And especially after re-watching this game and understanding where I messed up in specific moments of it, helped me understand the map a lot better. I now understand when you spawn below the snipe tower, you need to always lift up into the snipe tower. There were several times I just charged straight in a sore. There's no reason to do that. The things with the ordinances were important, several just little decision-making plays of staying alive that I should have made, and various things of that nature. It was definitely a good experience, as you heard me say, in the game. And I did end up receiving $25. Within a week, someone had emailed me an Xbox Live code very promptly. I was actually a little bit worried about that, but I did receive my money, and um, it was a good experience overall. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave um, some of the after game comments for you guys to um, listen to after after my face goes away here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I'm trying to boost the players in the lobby, their voices, boost their voices so you can hear a little bit more what they're saying. Um, Yolosaurus Rex obviously won and his, some of his comments were um, enlightening and um, he just seemed I was glad he won from the standpoint of who he was and how he acted after the game. He definitely was the most mature person there that I could tell. I'm just going to throw that out there. Shout out to him. Thank you guys for watching. He still won though, so it's really good. It's a good game, man. Yeah, man. It's good that he won. Genesis was always in front of me, and then... Oh my goodness, I was just like, run away! I was the biggest chick in that game. Nah, dude, I was so nervous, I was like, fourth, and then I got third, and then I was like, alright, I gotta keep third, and I was like, you know what, let's go for second. And then I got second. <laughs> yeah, man, you, you surprised me, because I saw your name, like, I was like, Strosky's moving on up, and I was like, shoot, I need to, like, run away from him, instead of, like, because <laughs> I was like, I, w I was trying to pick who killed me. And Frosty, I was like, come back, kid, though. I seen you. You were at the bottom, and then I seen him passing. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Then thinking. I seen him, and then I seen Genesis passing. I was like, oh, fuck. I was just like, what the hell? I kept getting, like, this or something. Like, I was in the wrong area at the wrong time. That was a good game, though.
Yeah, it was a good game. Much respect to everybody in in this. I could not make a jump to save my life. <laughs> I kept getting stuck on the wall. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. If I if I would have won at all, if anything, the only thing I honestly was going to get was just a, a monkey for my game, my avatar. I was going to get a, a monkey <laughs> and a fucking like a, a gold arm, a, a cold Spartan. That was it. And it was just like fucking two dollars, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck it, you know, I'm by myself a monkey, and yeah. <laughs> my squad was all rooting for you, Agency. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they wanted me to lose to you. Yeah. Why? <laughs> uh, Gamecast, uh, uh, Gogeta, oh. <laughs> like, all of them. They were like, dude, Agen Agency's gonna put you in the ground. And I'm like, alright, <laughs> alright. I'm like, I know who to look for. And then at the end of the tournament, sure enough, here you are. And I was like, oh yeah, Agency's here. Y'all called it. And he was, they were like, yeah! Well, you, you should have heard the victory. Like, it was, it was pretty... <laughs> well, to be fair, it's FFA. It's who can steal whose kills faster. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, yeah.